you guys, I'm 30. I've hit the age where clutter is not my thing. So that's what we're going to tackle. Hey everyone, it's Lainey and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. And if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the last fam. You will not regret it. I finally hit that spot where I just can't stand clutter. Like in my home, in my life, in my head. Don't need it, you know? Just kick all that crap to the curb, everybody. Okay, you know what I mean? Amen. <laughs> There's my rant for the day. But seriously, I feel like even though I've really been focusing for like a year now on trying to use up product, I'm trying not to buy product, and if I do buy product, I put up put it all in my backup stash. I don't open it. I keep my grubby little fingers off of it until I have used something else up and there is room for it here in this space. But yes, I still feel like even with trying it's so hard to declutter this space, I still have a lot and it still needs to go. I just, it is shocking when you really focus on using beauty products, you realize how long it takes to actually use up beauty products. Okay guys, welcome to the clutter. These are the products from the recent Shop My Stash and also recent vacation. So we did go to Utah for vacation. So I pulled a bunch of products that I wanted to bring with me and really focus on using. And then these are just what I'm wearing today. So those are just set there. And then this I used in a video. <laughs> so I really, I'm just kind of stuck on these products. So I want to really take a look at them, see if it's something I can declutter, something I'm done with, or something I just can't use anymore because I'm kind of tired of using it. So this one I am almost done with. I got this in Influencer a while back and I actually have really loved this. I don't want to toss it yet because I love wearing this on days where I just don't have an Emmy to put on a full face of foundation. And sometimes it's even nice just to mix with heavier foundations. And like I said, it's almost done. So I'm gonna keep that there. This powder I have been using all summer, literally. And I have gone through a lot of it. Like if I shake it down like that, you can still see there's not much in there. For my 2020 Reverse Rouge, it would be good to just, you know, hunker down and finish it, but I think I'm going to put it in declutter. This is brand new. I've been using it for brow gel, so that's going to stay. These brow products are going to stay. This is just a color swatch that I like to keep up here. This MAC Paint Pot, definitely going to keep. I have made really good progress on this. This is the foundation that I've really been using a lot this summer because it is one of my tannest and I definitely have more color. Let's see how much is left. More than I would like. I feel like I've used this so much. There's still quite a bit there, but you guys, I think I'm going to put this in the declutter pile. I really love this Sephora foundation. This is the Sephora Make No Mistake. I really compare it to... Hourglass with a little bit less velvety finish. I really like it. I have another one for my winter shade, but I, I'm just, I've used this a lot. I'm gonna set it aside. This No Problem Primer. I have been trying to use it, but I keep reaching for this um, Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer, which I love. It is great for the days where I haven't moisturized when I've come down here to do my makeup, and it works for both moisturizing and priming. I have used a lot of this. I'm actually impressed with myself. So I'm going to keep that there and use it up this one. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Did I say goodbye to Maybe I'll just keep this and once I finish up this one that is when I will say goodbye to this one because sometimes I do use both. Today I'm using both. I have made good good progress on this MAC Fix Plus. I love Max Fix Plus for wedding eyeshadows. Like, love it. Nothing does a better job to me. I don't love it for setting my face. It leaves a lot of droplets. It can mess up the foundation, but I've been forcing myself to use it. So let's just do that right now. Shake real good. 
So now that I'm done with the Sephora one, these are going to be my go-to. Maybe I'll mix them together for like the rest of summer, early fall and see how it goes because this one's not that old yet. Okay, I've been using this one for quite a while. I've gone through a lot of it. There is still some in there, but I think I'm going to declutter it so I can reach for another concealer. This was one I got for a video because I wanted to do a full face of e.l.f. and I wanted to do liquid bronzing, so I'm going to keep it. It's new, but it's not something I really reach for. I'm not a liquid bronzer, cream bronzer type gal. Okay, there's lots of stuff in here. I haven't got, to, I really thought I would get through that other powder so much faster, like so much faster, so much faster. This one, I don't think I've ever, I've never used this, I've never used this, I've never used that. Have I used this one? Okay, so I have opened this one, I checked the lid, there's powder in there. So I'm gonna pull this one out and it will be my powder to use now. Is there anything? In here I can declutter. Not particularly. I am gonna pull this concealer. This one, have I used this one lately, honestly? Oh God, this is the problem when you have too much makeup. You can't keep track. I know I haven't used this one. I have not used that one. I have not used that one. I think these have all been these have all been used. I honestly cannot. I can't tell. It looks like that from laying on its side, but have I used it? I'm not quite sure. I don't know why I keep talking in a British accent though, for real. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna. This one's pretty new that way. Oh gosh, decisions. This one is the littlest, so I'm just gonna try to hammer through it. That's what we're gonna do. Am I gonna declutter any of this? Not yet. This is the only thing that. I could declutter, but I feel bad because it's new and I've hardly used it. Man, this is this is the problem. I have a, I struggle to get rid of things. Okay, I've just decided I am going to declutter that one, and I'm going to add. Oh, that would been really bad. Okay, a lot of these have not been used. Like I have. Used. Let's see, this is used, 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 this is used. that has been used, that has been used, that is not used, this is used, then this is used. This one is one I bought, it was one of those freaking impulse buys and it's not impressive you guys it's really not impressive I would much rather use a BB cream like much rather so this was to like fit you know fits everyone not no not really I think I'm actually even though it's new I'm gonna declutter it it has been used actually I might see I have a friend that would maybe use this she's very minimal so I'll ask her about it this one I'm gonna keep this one I'm going to set out because I should be finishing it up soon. Then this one goes back in. This one I'm going to set out. I've had that too long. This is newer. This one, how long have I had this? Oh, I didn't mark it. Gosh, sometimes I remember to mark these, sometimes I don't. I think I'm going to declutter. This is new. This one I'm going to keep for a little bit longer because it's like my only water-based primer that I'm aware of so if I try a water-based foundation it's good to have these are these are coming down though you guys I'm so excited this drawer used to be so full so so full have I marked all these I think so I think I have yay and I've marked all those honestly I'm gonna leave these where they're at I'm really happy with this I'm gonna keep diving into them this one has not been used yet this has not been used yet I love this one, honestly, for no makeup and makeup. Okay, I just made a decision to push myself outside my comfort zone, even though I freaking love this product so much. I'm going to declutter it. It's literally, like, honestly, it's basically gone. Maybe I'll use this just tomorrow, and then I'm going to put it in my um, 
why is my brain not working? Because I'm pregnant, that's why. <laughs> uh, in my reverse rouge. So I'm going to use it tomorrow. Sundays are usually low makeup days. And then I will start focusing on using this on the days I want to do BB cream. Ooh, I'm feeling excited now. Making progress. These are all going to stay where they're at. This and this I've been using. Basically everything else in here is untouched. Two cream bronzers I can live with. Blushes, happy with. Beauty sprays. Since I'm still working on the MAC Fix Plus, I'm going to leave these where they're at. Everything in here is unused besides this one. The scent is so strong. Again, impulse buy. So strong that uh, it is, it actually, it smells exactly like a perfume on your face. It smells delicious, but it, it's very strong. Probably keep these where they're at for now. At least they all fit in there. I really don't buy highlighters now because I have a lot. I don't think there's really anything to get rid of in here yet. Eyeshadows I'm going to focus on for a minute because I really need to start considering getting rid of some eyeshadows even though it is tough. It's tough, but this one, keep. This one's new, keep. This one's new, keep. Literally obsessed with this palette. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna finally get rid of this one. I love the colors in here for fall, but I have had this since 2017. This, it gets a little interesting in here. It's kind of a mess. Okay, definitely keeping my Tati Beauty. Even though, Tati, where you been? Hello. And this one, I love this palette. It's so beautiful. The mattes are fantastic. I'm definitely keeping that. I told myself the last declutter I was going to use this a couple more times and get rid of it, so I'm just I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. I shall miss you. This one I've had since 2017, but I do love this palette. Oh, it's so pretty, but I think I'm going to actually get rid of it. It's such, an, it's such a nice quality palette. My gosh. It's my Ray Ray. This is a pretty new one. I will keep that. This one was 2018. It's very similar to that Blink one, honestly. Very similar, so I guess I'll keep this one a little longer. My three glitters I shall keep for now. I don't reach for this one a lot, but honestly, the quality of these mattes is really nice. This, one, this little bugger right here, you guys, this was like one of the most expensive purchases I ever made. We all know Natasha Denona is ridiculously priced in this blue. Drew me in. But honestly, none of these in here do anything for me besides this blue. So it is so hard for me to get rid of it because it's so expensive. I think I'm going to keep it through this winter. And then, you guys, hold me to this. First of the year, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. And then this one's really old. 2017. Oh, I love this formula. I forgot. Open. No. Doing this one handed is Oh, come on now. Okay, there we go. The formula of these are beautiful, but it's time to say goodbye. I can't believe I'm getting rid of this much eyeshadow. Who am I right now? I freaking love this Jaclyn Hill palette. I cannot lie. This is like my favorite palette of all time. I just love this palette. Even though it's really old, 2017, I shouldn't buy a new one. It's not that so much, but you know, I'm not going to. This one is a newer one. I'm gonna keep that, even though I have like so many pinkies. So many pinkies. This is one I made from Coastal Scents when they do their really cheap pan deals. I love this palette. Oh, green. I love green. I don't know why, but I do. I don't think I've ever used it. Maybe once. I just, I, I don't reach for it. I think it's because there's so many cool tones in there. I don't reach, I don't reach for it. But, okay, that's it. I'm going to force myself to start reaching for it. So maybe I'll actually get these. These I never reach for. They're Makeup Geek Duo Chromes, and I just don't reach for them anymore. Um, I'm fairly happy where, we, where my lipstick stash is now because I have two full empty lipstick holders, which they all used to be full, so like that's good. This is the area I struggle with. My 
pigments. I went crazy when Kathleen Lights released her Zodiac pigments with Colourpop because I love Kathleen Lights. I love Zodiacs. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna have it. I'm, I'm learning to reframe that mindset. I don't gotta have it. But anyway, so I think I am gonna go through here and I'm gonna get rid of some stuff, which makes me sad because these are all like 95% full, but they've all been used and you just can't sanitize pigments. That's the other predicament. The Ram, which is my Aries, matches my her, but um, literally never reach for that. I'm gonna get rid of the Archer. It's a beautiful purple. Purple looks great with my green eyes, but I never reach for that. This green one, I have a whole green palette now. This is the Fish, beautiful, but I don't reach for that. I also have in here the Top Yacht by Tarte. I just can't give this one up. I've had it since 2018, but there's just something about it. I did recently get the Hourglass Foil in Scattered Light. This one has not been used yet. I would like to get this down to, let's see. Okay. Even though I love this, the goat, it's such a beautiful taupey brown. I honestly have so many of these in regular eyeshadows. I don't really need them. Doesn't it hurt when you get rid of stuff that you haven't used though? Because it really, it kind of makes you feel bad about yourself. Because I'm like, wow, I spent this money on all of this and then I haven't used it. But you know what? I have learned a valuable lesson. I'm doing better. I'm not buying makeup like crazy. So sometimes you learn lessons the hard way in life. These are the ones that I have left. This shade is so unique, I have a hard time getting rid of it. The Crab. And then I love this um, clear, clearish glittery one, the Maiden, because you can do a foiled lid without having a sticky, glossy lid. I meant glossy lid. You know what I meant. You can do a glossy lid without actually putting gloss on your lid. Then I have the Twins, and this is a really unique color. I'm going to have to swatch these real fast so I remember. But honestly, I probably have more shades like the Twins, so we'll get rid of that one. I am now down to three of these. That is, that is, not, that is not terrible. I did go crazy for my 30th B-Day and treated myself to a whole bunch of lip liners. Did I really need them? Not really, but okay. I guess I do see a, I see a couple lipsticks. Okay, honest to goodness, I have had this one like so long. Unicorn Tears by Too Faced. Mm, it's so beautiful. It worked for me when I was like 24, but now I'm 30 and I just, I, you know, and I feel like there are no rules with makeup. Do what makes you feel good. But would I realistically feel respectable going out in that? Confident going out in that? Probably not. Also, three bright lipsticks that I'm going to get rid of because I don't love these formulas at all. This is the Colorsational in hot pink, purple, and orange. But these are just too creamy, a little too transparent. Really, I feel like if I'm going to do a super vibrant, it almost needs to be a matte, a liquid, or like a, a nice pigmented, thick cream lipstick. Those are them there. I never reach for them, ever. Uh, the exciting thing is, so for about five months, I wore no lipstick, I'm sure, like everybody here. Because what's the point when you're wearing a mask every day to work? Or when you're going out and running errands? But at work, we are now allowed to wear clear shields, which makes me so freaking happy. It's, it's just wonderful. I'm wearing lipstick to work again. I love it. It's the little things in life. Uh, this is the Cream Lipstick in Decadent Peach by CoverGirl. This is the three lipsticks I have by Joa. They're um, I'm Your Jelly Bay Matte Lipstick in Honey, Sweet Cheeks, and Bow. And I do like these. But honestly, I have colors like them. Oh, look at all this stuff I'm getting rid of. Oh, I'm so happy. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm very excited about that. Yes, so excited. <laughs> like, really, really excited about that. I feel good. I feel like cleansed. I feel refreshed. I see new room up in here. I do see one area I want to look through really fast before I let you guys go live your life. Thank you for being here. I have the Dermacol. I don't know why I just like to squeeze this. I have never, I've honestly never really used it. One time I think. So I will, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that for now. This is the Anastasia foundation stick. Gonna keep that. This All Light 
foundation that this thing is coming off, so I'm just going to take that off of there. I'm going to keep that. I did find this one. I don't know, maybe I should get rid of it. It leaked all in my makeup drawer really bad. So I, I don't know, the consistency might not be right now. So I think I will actually, even though I did like this foundation, and I only got to use it like one time, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. That is everything for this video. I feel good about it. I feel refreshed. I feel like I'm in a, ah, a new place. And I'm excited to keep focusing on using that product for the rest of this year and into early next year. And then we're going to do a really massive declutter next year and bust out all kinds of new products I've been setting aside. So yes, you guys, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this really informal, really chatty declutter video, but ah, I love decluttering. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. and I'll see you in my next video. As always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.